In this video, we are going to talk about sleep tips for the highly sensitive person. So, before starting the video, please like this video, do subscribe and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Noise from the street. Caffeine. The furnace is being tapped. I'm worried about the meeting tomorrow. All of these things can make it difficult to get a decent night's sleep. These sleep barriers can be amplified if you're a highly sensitive person, HSP, who processes the world in great detail. Everything from the temperature of your bedroom to the texture of your textiles to a lingering disagreement from the day can keep you up at night. While sleep is important for everyone, it's especially important for HSPs to get enough of it every night. It enables you to process the events of your day, as well as any heightened emotions. If you're an HSP, you could find it difficult to fall asleep for the same reason you need it most, your acute senses. Don't be concerned. There are numerous strategies to reclaim your relationship with sleep in order to feel your best. Why is good sleep so important for HSPs? Of course, whether you're an HSP or not, getting enough sleep is essential. Sleep promotes healthy brain function by establishing new neural pathways that aid in learning and memory. Sleep deprivation has been connected to difficulty making decisions due to lack of concentration, a lack of emotional control. If you're an HSP who is seeing the world at a higher level, getting enough sleep is essential for processing all of the information you take in during the day. Acevedo and her colleagues discovered a link between rest and information processing in a study published in 2021. After completing an emotional task, they watched the brain at rest. Those who were more sensitive had higher levels of activation in memory and mood-related regions of the brain. We believe that when highly sensitive people are at rest, they are processing all of the information from what has just happened in their lives, Acevedo adds. She emphasizes the importance of sleep for HSPs in terms of data processing. All of the work is done while I'm sleeping and preparing, Acevedo explains. It's extremely crucial for highly sensitive people to take a few minutes to just relax, turn off the lights, and not focus on anything in particular. Let's take a step back for a moment to appreciate the complexity of being an HSP. According to Elaine Aaron's blockbuster book The Extremely Sensitive Person, the highly sensitive trait, scientifically known as sensory processing sensitivity SPS, affects 15 to 20 percent of the population. For example, they could be easily startled by loud noises overrun by crowds ruffled by change upset by scratchy clothes, bright lights, or strong scents strongly impacted by movies, music, and the arts more influenced by emotions deeply moved by movies, music, and the arts HSPs show higher activity in reaction to others' emotions connected to empathy, according to Bianca Acevedo, PhD, an SPS researcher at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Trusted source imitates other people's activities, the most popular of which are yawning and smiling. It also becomes active when it comes to emotions, according to Acevedo, for more sensitive people. Drinking caffeine or alcohol Caffeine and alcohol should be avoided before night for a variety of reasons. Caffeine and alcohol, even if you're not an HSP, can affect the quality of your sleep. According to Trusted Source, coffee disrupts our circadian rhythm by influencing the release and production of melatonin, which keeps you awake at night. Our sleep cycle is disrupted by alcohol, resulting in a decline in sleep quality. Rapid Eye Movement REM, Sleep from a Reliable Source According to Aaron's research, many HSPs are susceptible to the effects of caffeine, alcohol, or both. Overstimulating Activities it's typical to unwind with a TV show or a movie at night. However, watching anything emotionally evocative before bedtime, according to Acevedo, may disrupt sleep for an HSP. This is due to the way they process information. Watching something violent or involving strong emotions, for example, can cause over-arousal. It may be difficult to fall asleep as a result of this. Physical activities such as going on a run or completing an intense workout late at night, according to Acevedo, can help keep the body attentive. Tips for better sleep as an HSP While certain aspects of your sleep environment are beyond your control, there are many things you can do as an HSP to improve your sleep. Accepting and embracing your extremely sensitive nature is the first step, followed by learning strategies and techniques to work with it rather than against it. When it comes to getting a good night's sleep, keep the following in mind, pay attention to your body. At night, unwind. Wherever possible, reduce stress. Create a relaxing atmosphere. Listen to your body to inform your sleep schedules. HSPs have a strong sense of intuition. 
Listening to your body's natural cycles might help you build a sleep pattern that works for you when it comes to obtaining enough sleep. Each individual is unique. According to Annie Miller, a cognitive behavioral treatment for insomnia, CBTI, psychotherapist at DC Metro Sleep and Psychotherapy, their sleeping habits are also changing. Some people require 10 hours of sleep, while others just require 6 hours. Instead than worrying about getting enough sleep, make a schedule that works for you. The most crucial thing, according to Miller, is to have a strict wake time and a sleep window. This means that you get up at the same time every day, regardless of what happens. You can choose a time frame for when you go to bed based on your wake time. Allow 1-2 to two hours of wind down time. Allowing yourself time to relax before bed aids in the preparation of your mind and body for sleep. For HSPs who need 2 hours of alone time every day, this might be a precious time for them to be alone. Activities that provide you joy and comfort without overexertion can be used to wind down. Here are a few examples, reading, writing, gentle stretching, listening to music, self-massage, and watching a soothing, familiar television show if you go with the latter option. Miller encourages you to pick your content carefully. Overstimulation can be caused by watching the news, skimming through social media, or selecting a violent or emotional show. HSPs can also rest their overactive minds by doing nothing, according to Acevedo. Create anxiety-reducing habits Developing stress reduction techniques during the day might make falling asleep a lot easier. This is especially true before going to bed. When you're an HSP, it's especially vital to be aware of your triggers and to practice mindfulness in ways that suit you. Here are a few basic habits that HSPs can adopt to get more zizis. During the day, go for a walk in the woods. Consume nourishing foods, such as those that are abundant in healthy fats. Make a meditation practice at home. Coffee, sweets, and alcohol should be avoided before bedtime. During the day, engage in some form of physical activity. Take breaks, even if it's just for 5 minutes to rest your eyes. At least a couple of hours a day should be spent alone. Electronics and clocks should be kept out of the bedroom. Your bed should only be used for sleeping and sex. If you can't fall asleep after 20 minutes, get out of bed. Miller also highlights the necessity of solely sleeping in your bed. While it may be tempting to read or watch a TV in bed, doing so may keep your brain engaged and prevent you from falling asleep. You'll start to link your bed with sleep rather than wakefulness if you create a conditioned response to solely use it for sleep. Create a comforting environment. Your environment can make or break your capacity to sleep if you're an HSP. That is why, in order to have a decent night's sleep, you must create a sleep sanctuary where you feel comfortable and at ease. In your sleeping place, Acevedo suggests having a sense of home, familiarity, and security. For some, this may entail sleeping with a pet or being close to friends and relatives. Others may find it comforting to have a picture of their loved ones around or to have a favorite pillow or blanket that is meaningful and relaxing to them. There are also certain physical changes you can make to your surroundings, such as, keeping your room dark and chilly, around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18.3 degrees Celsius, utilizing a white noise machine to drown out extra noise pillows, linens, and mattresses that are comfortable are an investment. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.